we'll talk about kufungisisa, which literally means thinking too much. Kusimudzira, which literally means to uplift. I think one of the main uh, achievements of Friendship Bench is we have managed to destigmatize mental health. Bereavement, isolation and lost income. In many parts of the globe, experts warn these have fostered a parallel pandemic of poor mental health. This virus has affected her body. According to a WHO survey in October, COVID-19 disrupted or halted critical mental health services in 93% of countries. In places like Zimbabwe, some mental health services were scarce to begin with. About a dozen psychiatrists serve a population of 15 million. Tackling the problem head-on is psychiatrist Dixon Chibanda. For 10 years, he's championed the Friendship Bench as a way to drastically expand mental health outreach. The Friendship Bench uh, essentially is a model that consists of uh, three key components. Grandmothers, basic cognitive behavioral therapy, and community support groups. We identify suitable trainers in communities who we then train. Those trainers then go into that community and train grandmothers. The trained grandmothers are then allocated a wooden park bench in their community. We then facilitate referrals to the grandmothers who work from these wooden park benches. After up to six sessions, clients or patients are then referred to join a community support group. Constrained by coronavirus, the Friendship Bench in 2020 went virtual, this to sustain its services through lockdowns and beyond. Unfortunately, the situation in Zimbabwe is not great. The number of people affected by anxiety, depression is really uh, increasing. And uh, at community level, we have a lot more challenges with substance um, use, particularly among young people. Lots and lots of mental health issues, um, which are not only confounded by the COVID situation, but also by the socio-economic situation. As opposed to um, just having face-to-face -face sessions on the bench, we decided to create a digital platform where people could actually access the very same sort of um, approach, but virtually using WhatsApp and using voice calls and also using a dedicated platform called, called Inuka. And so this is what we are now offering. We're offering both physical friendship bench, um, that is, you know, face to face with a grandmother, or you can also have the same approach, but um, using a digital platform. Though still developing and improving, Chibanda says clinical trials have shown positive results for the model. It's also helping change how people think about mental health. I think one of the main uh, achievements of Friendship Bench is we have managed to destigmatize mental health. And, um, and I think that has happened because of the approach that we use which is uh, very non-traditional in terms of the way mental health services are provided. The language that we use in Friendship Bench is non-clinical. We use language that the community resonates with. For instance, we won't talk about depression or anxiety, but we'll talk about kufungisisa, which literally means thinking too much. We talk about kusimudzira, which literally means to uplift. We talk about kuvura pfungwa, you know, opening up the mind and kusimbisa, to strengthen. And these are words that the community can resonate with. We've taken away the clinical component, you know, by using language which is culturally appropriate, although we are offering a clinical service. And I think this, is, this has been one of the greatest impact of, um, of friendship and just, you know, destigmatizing the whole thing. and and giving mental health a human face.